Thank you, Vice Mayor. Today is the 14th of September, um, and I know that it's still hot outside, but winter is coming. And I wanted to um, re-engage the council at the beginning of a discussion about respite centers for our unsheltered population as winter is approaching. Because I'd rather have this conversation not this week, over the next couple of weeks than in December and January. Our staff and our members are hard at work uh, implementing the comprehensive siting plan. And there's a lot of good news to report. I hope that it'll be reported over the next uh, days and weeks. I know it will be. We're in the midst of developing a, a comprehensive matrix that will show you the status of each of the sites and uh, including time frames, and we're, we're going to have some significant wins, including the win today. Congratulations, Vice Mayor, uh, on the WX shelter. As we're doing all that, knowing that it's going to, you know, continue to take some time, we'll have some wins by the winter. I don't want to forget the obligation to open as many overnight and daytime respite centers so we get people out of the cold. We have to do this. And, you know, last time we, we, we got started a little bit. I mean, Councilmember Gett opened uh, uh, something on Lemon Hill and uh, Councilmember Valenzuela, of course, with, um, with, with the Library Galleria. And, and I know Bridget Dean has got her hands full with so many different things and is relying in part on us to identify places. Well, a couple of things. One is, I think we ought to free Bridget up myself to identify where she thinks is appropriate to open and then <laughs> bring it to the council, period. Um, so that respectfully to all of you and all of us, we're not kind of fencing her off and standing in the way. Secondly, we must call on the private sector here as well. How many closed warehouse buildings, office buildings, restaurants are there that could be used for respite during the winter time? And then with some of our existing projects and facilities, even with Project Home Key, for example, and Room Key, how many lobbies are available, even where we have people living currently in, in rooms, thank God, but how many lobbies would be available or common areas to bring people in overnight? Um, I'm really worried about this because this council passed a resolution in February that said we were no longer going to follow temperature criteria. And we have shifted our focus, and understandably so, to this comprehensive siting plan. Obviously, I believe very much in it, but we have to be able to do both at once. And by the way, the, the shame of all of it is that it can't just fall on the city itself, right? As we're talking to our accounting partners about collaborative funding and a uh, comprehensive plan together, this respite must be part of it as well. We have to bring people out of the cold during the winter time. And so I wanted to raise it on September 14th, not on December the 14th, so that we begin the wheel spinning. I'm gonna to continue to raise this, maybe agendize it, but I want us to develop a plan and a, and a strategy and open as many places as we can as winter is approaching. Thank you.